I wasn't sure that you'd still be here. Well, I thought about bailing, but I, I couldn't. I had to find out who did it, who killed him. Besides, I canceled all those pressing social engagements, so I figured I might as well stay. Well, I honestly don't know who to believe. I, I don't see Tad or Jamie lying. Well, at this point, I just want someone, anyone, to pay for killing Greg. So I can just put this whole mess behind me and just start some sort of life again. Well, I hope you don't erase everything about the old Jew. Well, there's a few better moments I'll never let myself forget. I'm glad you're here. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Life is a trip, isn't it? <laughs> First you're dead, then you're not, then you're a killer, now maybe not. Well, one thing's for certain. You're no longer the sweet, innocent Dixie Cooney we all knew and loved. Well, it's just too bad. You're still the same selfish, manipulative man you were when I left town. I guess some things never change. Oh, you see, you're wrong, Dixie, because I have changed. You changed me when you blew me off for Zack. All the plans I had for us wiped out. I had to find some way to let it go. Move on. Is this how you move on? Skulking and gloating on the sidelines while I'm being convicted of murder? Does it satisfy your need for revenge? <laughs> you know, you would think that it would, wouldn't you? But I might come up with something else. Well, Miss Emma here is just a doll. And I think, just maybe, Chana's down for the count. So, um, so it should be kind of a breeze. Well, lucky for them, I do know a couple of things about little girls, so we are going to have a great time. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Bye, and I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Hey. Hey, Emma. So tell me, um, do you know how to play patty cake? <gasps> you do? Oh, boy, this could be the best thing that's happened to me in this whole messed up day. Okay, here we go. Patty cake. Show me. Show me. Come on. <laughs> I'm such a wuss about being alone. Emma sleeps with me every night. After being on constant alert for so many months, I still... It's understandable, okay. Annie. You know, it's, um... It's still very weird for me not to have Lily on the other side of that bed. Okay, then. Problem solved. You move back into your old room. Emma bunks with me. Yes, yes, Aaron will be thrilled to have her brother back. It'll just be one big, loud, unlonely party pad. Three's company with a twist. You're lucky I can use the comedy. <laughs> okay. Are you kidding me? First, you don't care that I'm dead. Now you don't even care that I'm alive. You play jokes on me. You scare the crud out of me. Sean, I totally hate your guts right now. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, before you take off ticked, what, where were you? What happened to you? As if you care. I heard you tell Sydney just to get over me being dead. So don't even try to play that. But what'd you do? Fake your death so you could spy on people? See how many people would show up to your funeral? You obviously wouldn't have showed up. Look. We had a pretty awesome time together before that boat crashed. Okay, I would have been front row center. Right. You were so drunk, I bet you don't even remember what happened. Not only do I remember it, I think about it every day. I'm, I'm really glad you're alive, Colby. Get your hands off my children. I apologize for the earlier interruption, and I thank you all for your patience. Now, as we move forward, I remind you to focus only on the sworn testimony in this case. The earlier accusations from James Martin toward his father have been stricken from the record and should not have any bearing on the outcome of this trial. Is that understood? Now, Mr. Summerhill, I understand that Tad Martin has been removed to the witness waiting room. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Cuddy, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. 
In light of the recent developments, the defense would like to call a rebuttal witness to Tad Martin's testimony, Mr. Daniel Kagan. Objection. Overruled. I want to hear from your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Would you please state your name for the record, sir? Daniel Kagan. And Mr. Kagan, what is your profession? I spent 15 years in the military, but for the past five years, I've been head of security at Pine Valley Airport. And as the head of security at the airport, are you privy to security breaches? That's correct. Now, where were you or were you on duty the night of June 5th, 2006? No, ma'am. Not that night. I worked early in the afternoon, but my shift ended at 1700 hours. I'm sorry, 5 p.m. Thank you. And when did your next shift begin? The following morning at 8 a.m. Now, Mr. Kagan, are you aware that a Thaddeus Martin is a material witness in this murder case? Yes, but I only learned about Mr. Martin's involvement this morning. Well, why is that? I've been out of town training security teams for over a month. And how did you learn about Tad Martin's involvement in this case? His son James told me. What exactly did James Martin tell you about his father's involvement in this case? He said Mr. Tad Martin was an eyewitness. That he claims he saw the defendants load the body in the trunk of a car somewhere between the hours of 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. on June 5th. And did that surprise you? Yes, ma'am. Well, why is that? Because Tad Martin was in a locked room at the airport the entire night of June 5th. If he says he saw anything during those hours, he lied. 